What is up guys? This is Bullshot, back again with another Call of Duty Mobile video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So in today's video, I am gonna be covering the top 10 best guns to use inside of the Battle Royale, after the release of the Season 9 update. Now, unlike the top 5 videos from the previous seasons, I am gonna be making this list, based on every single weapon inside of this game, it doesn't matter if the weapon is findable throughout the entire map, or it can only be obtained from the arsenal airdrops. And I am going to give you the best gunsmith loadout for each of these weapons. Another thing that I want to mention, before I start the video, this top 10 list won't be featuring any shotguns or sniper rifles. But let me tell you this. It certainly has one marksman rifle included in this list. The entire thing may be a little bit longer, but the loadouts will be extremely helpful for all of my fellow viewers. That's why, I am suggesting you to stick to the end of the video. Now, if this is your first time here in my channel, then be sure to press the subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I make some great tips and tricks videos and make some pretty powerful loadouts for the battle royale. And trust me, you don't want to miss out any of my custom build. You can also follow me on Instagram and join my Discord server for exclusive tips and more awesome content. Links are provided in the description. Anyways, with that being said, let's get right into the video. Starting at number 10 spot, we have the it can become a great choice for dealing with multiple enemies. The prime range of this weapon is from medium to long, although you can most certainly use a close range engagements as well. Anyways, for the mods, I am recommending you to use the precise shot mods, the vertical recoil control mods, and the lateral recoil control mods for best results. And here is the best gunsmith loadout for the custom variant of this weapon. I have focused mainly on the damage range and the overall accuracy of this weapon. Although, the mods must be same as the ground one. Now, coming at number 8 spot, we have the AK-117. This is a mid-tier assault rifle, with a pretty moderate amount of damage and super high fire rate. You may find this assault rifle as ground loops very frequently. It has some great bullet spread accuracy with the ABS, and it does a great job with the hip firing as well. Although the recoil pattern is a bit of unpredictable, but with the help of the proper mods, it can be managed pretty easily. I am recommending you to use the legendary variant of the extended magazine mods, the precise shot mods, or the hip fire boost mods, depending on your personal preference, and the lateral recoil control mods for best results. Anyways, here is my updated custom loadout for this assault rifle. I have improved the overall accuracy and the recoil management of this weapon and made it a perfectly optimized choice for all sorts of ranges possible. And also with this one, you must use the same mods as I have mentioned for the ground variant of this weapon. I personally like to use the hip fire boost mods with this build, as I mainly prefer this weapon for close range engagements only. Now, coming at number 7, we have the Classic M4. This is a mid-tier assault rifle, with a pretty moderate amount of damage and some great accuracy for the long range engagements. This is a pretty easy to use weapon, which has a great balance of mobility and bullet spread accuracy. Also, the recoil pattern of this weapon is by far the most optimized one. The only downside of this weapon is the damage per bullet, which is pretty lower, comparing to the other assault rifles. 
Still, it can be a great choice for the beginners, as it is extremely versatile to use in mid to long range engagements. Now, with the custom variant of this weapon, I have mainly focused on the damage range and the bullet spread accuracy for the long range engagements. It is an extremely optimized custom loadout for mid to long range distance. It is pretty easy to use, and it has a great balance of damage range and ADS bullet spread accuracy for mid to long range distance. Anyways, for the mods, I am recommending you to use the precise shot mods, the long range mods, and the extended magazine mods to get the most effective results. Coming at number 6 spot, we have another submachine gun, which is the Fennec. This is one of the fastest killing weapon inside of the battle royale. It is pretty optimized for up close engagements. It has the highest amount of the fire rate, and at the hip fire accuracy of this weapon is extremely accurate. But there are some major downsides, which come along with this weapon. The damage range, and the amount of damage per bullet. And this is the reason, I suggest you to use this weapon only for close range engagements. Anyways, the mods I am recommending you to use the hip fire boost mods, the extended magazine mods, and the long range mods to get the most effective results. Now, with the custom variant of this weapon, I have improved the overall damage range and cranked up the hipfire accuracy to the maximum level. It is by far one of the fastest killing loadout in close range distance. And also with this one, you must use the same mods, as I have mentioned for the ground variant of this weapon. Now, coming at number 5 spot, we have the Holger 26. This is a multifunctional high tier weapon, which has a pretty awesome balance of damage and accuracy for long range engagements. The only downside with this weapon is the overall mobility, but except that fact, it is by far one of the best weapons to use in the battle royale. And trust me when I say, if you are dealing with multiple enemies at once, then this multifunctional weapon must be the best choice for you. It has slightly wider ADS bullet spread, but that can totally be fixed with the proper variants of the mods. Now, with the custom loadout of this weapon, I have increased the damage range and mainly focused on the ADS accuracy of this weapon. It is a pretty powerful custom loadout for mid to long range battles. It has a great balance of damage range and recoil management. Also, it has some great ADS bullet spread accuracy as well. Anyways, for the mods, I am recommending you to use the vertical recoil control mods, the fast ADS mods, and the precise shot mods for the most effective results. Coming at number 4 spot, we have the MX-9, which is another fastest killing weapon inside of the battle royale. This submachine gun has a deadly combination of high damage and fast fire rate. And on top of that, it also has a pretty solid hip fire accuracy and damage range, which is much higher than the Fennec. And with the perfect combination of the mods, you can make just the ground variant so much more powerful that you won't even need to worry about any custom one. It can outpower an enemy almost as fast as the Fennec. But the plus point is, the MX-9 has significantly higher damage range than the Fennec, but the hipfire accuracy is slightly less dense if you compare it to the rest of the submachine guns. And that's why, I am recommending you to use the hipfire boost mods, the long range mods, and the extended magazine mods for best results. Anyways, with the custom variant of this weapon, I have boosted the damage range and the hipfire accuracy to the maximum level. It is a pretty aggressive build, which mainly thrives in close to mid-range engagements. And when I say mid-range, I mean, you can use the hipfire up to a pretty longer distance. It has more ammunition capacity than a custom Fennec, and by far the best ratio of damage and fire rate. Now, coming at number 3 spot, we have the M13. I have originally planned to put this high-tier assault rifle at the number 1 spot, but the only reason I am putting it at number 3 spot, just because it can only obtain from the arsenal airdrops, which is a huge pain in the ass. But except that fact, it is by far the best weapon inside of the battle royale, which can perform even better than the weapon I have placed at the number 1 spot. This assault rifle has the fastest amount of the fire rate and the highest amount of the damage range, and with certain attachments, even the bullet velocity can be increased as well. And along with those stats, the recoil management of the weapon is extremely optimized in all sorts of ranges. Now for the loadout, I mainly have focused on the ADS accuracy, and I have tried to make this build as optimized with the recoil as possible. The 40 rounds RTC double stack magazine is a game-changing attachment for the long-range engagements, as it increases the overall damage range by a pretty decent amount. And you will also get 20% extra bullet speed, which basically is the velocity of your bullets and the main factor of this special magazine. 
Anyways, for the mods, I am recommending you to use the legendary variant of the long range mods, which will increase your range and damage at the same time. The vertical recoil control mods, because you are mainly going to use this for long range engagements. And the extended magazine mods, which will increase your ammunition capacity and the reload speed of your weapon. Coming at number 2 spot, we have the SKS, which is a high tier marksman rifle, with great fire rate and pretty awesome amount of damage. The last time when I made a top 5, I haven't put this weapon in that list, and for that reason, some of my fellow viewers got super disappointed. Although I hadn't forget to share the loadout of this weapon in that respective video. Anyways, I can totally understand the factor behind that disappointment. That's why, in this video, I have placed the SKS where it originally supposed to be. It is a semi-automatic marksman rifle, which can be converted into a long-range sniper rifle or a close to mid-range assault rifle, depending on what types of mods and attachments you're running with it. The main special factor with the ground variant of this weapon is, you can equip Trust me, you don't want to miss out any of my custom build. Follow me on Instagram and join my Discord server for exclusive tips and more awesome content. Links are provided in the description. Alright then, have a great day. I'll catch you at the next one with some great loadouts of the new Swordfish functional weapon, both for the multiplayer as well as the battle royale. Till then, take care. Bulls out.